Hello from Nishizaka Hill in Nagasaki, and this is a very prominent location. Uh, most of you, if you look in this direction, if you want to know where it is, you'll be able to see the NHK uh, Nagasaki Tower. That's right in front of where we are located. The location of the 26 martyrs were executed back in 1597. Uh, if you go inside the museum, you'll be able to take a look at the list of people that are here. 26 names. You may not know a lot of history about them, but they had a huge impact and a profound influence on how people viewed Christianity in this particular area. Now, back in the early 16th century, St. Francis Xavier entered Kyushu and started to share Christianity all across this particular island. And from there, Nagasaki became one of the most prominent locations for Catholicism in Japan. But it was during the late part of that 16th century when Christianity started to become a bit of a threat for those who are in power. And so for one fateful day in February of 1597, 26 people died for their faith. It was under the order of uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. It was under his order that these 26 people were killed. They were forced to march from Kyoto all the way over to Nagasaki, which is a very long distance. Now, if you take the time to go inside the museum, you'll be able to take a look at some of the thought process into where uh, Hideyoshi decided to write, an, uh, write orders specifically to be able to support the idea of persecuting Christians and others outside of the traditional Japanese religious order. Starting from the 17th century, under the Tokugawa shogunate, Christians in Nagasaki had to go underground. They were known as hidden Christians for more than 250 years. And the very reason why that took place was because they were unable to practice their faith openly. It was at the order and at the risk of death that people were taking it underground rather than coming out in open rebellion. There was a time in the early 17th century when there was a rebellion. Many, many people died for their faith at that time. And it was from that point forward all the way through the 18th century before Christians were able to come out and practice their faith in the open. In 1865, it was almost like a rediscovery of Christians as they were coming out into the public in order to, to talk about their faith. During the 1960s, in 1962 specifically, this particular location and this particular monument was erected along with the museum and also with St. Philip's Church in order to be able to share what happened on this hill and to talk about the history of Christianity. Many of you may know that Christians only represent about 1% of the entire Japanese population. It's a little bit larger here in Nagasaki, but nevertheless, it is something that isn't talked about nearly as much. And so for a location like this to be able to bear witness to what these 26 people did during their lives here on earth, along with the impact of the Christian and Catholic movement here in Nagasaki, it really is worth taking some time to take a look at.